Hair loss and hair thinning in women. Five frequently asked questions. Question number one. What are the causes of hair loss and hair thinning in women? Hair loss is typically related to one or more of the following factors. Family history. The most common cause of hair loss is a hereditary condition called female pattern baldness. It usually occurs gradually with aging and in predictable patterns. With women, you usually see thinning hair. Factor number two. The second factor is hormonal changes and medical conditions. A variety of conditions can cause permanent or temporary hair loss, including hormonal changes due to pregnancy, childbirth, menopause, and thyroid problems. Medical conditions include alopecia, which causes patchy hair loss, scalp infections such as ringworm, and hair pulling disorders. Factor number three. Another factor for hair loss or hair thinning is medications and supplements. Hair loss can be a side effect of certain drugs such as those used for cancer, arthritis, depression, heart problems, gout, and high blood pressure. Factor number four. Factor number four for hair loss and hair thinning is radiation therapy to the head. The hair may not grow back the same as it once did before. Factor number five. Factor number five, a very stressful event. Many people experience a general thinning of hair several months after a physical or emotional shock. This type of hair loss is temporary. Factor number six. Factor number six, certain hairstyles and treatments. Excessive hairstyling or hairstyles that pull your hair tight, such as ponytails, can cause this type of hair loss called traction alopecia. Hot oil hair treatments and permanents can cause inflammation of the hair follicles that lead to hair loss. If scarring occurs, hair loss could be permanent. How does hair loss in women differ from hair loss in men? How does it typically manifest in women? Hair loss or hair thinning can begin as early as the 20s and 30s, but most common for women around the age of 45 to 55. 50% of women experience hair loss by the age of 50. The signs of female hair loss. Thinning of hair in the middle area of the scalp or a slow widening of the part. The common causes of female hair loss. Androgenetic alopecia, hormone changes after menopause, stress, and nutrition. The emotional impact. It's more difficult for women as hair loss is tied to femininity and beauty. Women feel less attractive with hair loss. How many women suffer from hair loss? 30 million women experience hair loss, making up to 40% of hair loss sufferers in the United States. Now we're going to go over hair loss in men so you can see the difference between the two. Hair loss or hair thinning can begin as early as the 20s and 30s, but most common for women around the age of 45 to 55. 50% of women experience hair loss by the age of 50. For men, hair loss or hair thinning begins with a receding hairline and thinning around the crown. The common causes of male hair loss is androgenetic alopecia, stress, and nutrition. The emotional impact for men. In some senses, it's more socially acceptable for a man to have hair loss or to be bald. However, men can also feel shame, though, as their hair is tied to their masculinity and strength. 
How many men suffer from hair loss or hair thinning? 50 million men experience hair loss. Can hair loss be reversed or simply managed? The answer is both. What are some of the most effective treatments or strategies for women with hair loss? Saw palmito. Multiple studies established saw palmito's ability to encourage optimal hair growth by targeting the DHT, the main culprit of genetic hair loss. Biotin is an essential B vitamin that promotes healthy hair growth and overall hair health. This ingredient strengthens both the hair follicle and the hair shaft from which the hair grows. Pumpkin seed extract. Studies establish that pumpkin seed extract stimulates healthy hair growth by suppressing the harmful effects of DHT and the increase in circulation to the scalp. Studies establish that caffeine stimulates hair follicles to grow thicker and stronger hair. Studies establish that green tea extract is rich in polyphenols. Polyphenols stimulate hair follicles, improve hair anchoring, and promote stronger, healthier looking hair. Black cumin oil. Black seed oil is rich in antioxidants and fatty acids that can strengthen the hair and improve scalp health. Studies establish that this extract stimulates circulation to the scalp and helps vital nutrients reach their follicles where they are needed. Black seed oil is rich in antioxidants and fatty acids that studies establish strengthens hair. Studies establish that this extract influences the appearance of healthier and thicker looking hair. Studies establish that pumpkin seed oil reduces the damage caused by DHT. Studies establish that this extract stimulates circulation and provides necessary nutrition to the hair follicles, supporting the growth of healthier, thicker, and more voluminous hair. These oils impart massive shine, silkiness, and luster to thinning hair. Minoxidil. This is used for pad and baldness and it was discovered by accident. Minoxidil was widely used to treat high blood pressure, but researchers found that one of the drug's side effects was hair growth in unexpected areas. Minoxidil lotion is applied to the scalp and may work by increasing the blood flow and therefore nourishment to the hair follicles. The American Hair Loss Association say that most experts agree that minoxidil is an effective drug in the fight against hair loss. The treatment has zero effect on the hormonal process of hair loss and its benefits are temporary. Hair loss continues if the usage is discontinued. A hair transplant. This involves harvesting follicles from the back of the head that are DHT resistant and transplants in them to the bald areas. A surgeon will remove the plugs of the skin that contain a few hairs and implant the plugs where the follicles are inactive. Around 15% of the hairs emerge from the follicles as a single hair. 15% grow in groups of four to five hairs. At the end of the procedure, the person will have the same amount of hair. It will just be distributed more evenly around the scalp. Treating hair loss through surgical procedure can be painful and expensive. So there is a risk of scarring and infection involved also that you need to consider as well. Low level laser therapy. This is a form of light and heat treatment. It has been shown to stimulate growth in both men and women.
Researchers say that the main mechanisms involved in the process is the stimulation of the epidermal stem cells in the follicle and shifting the follicle back into the growth phase of the cycle. Iron supplements. Iron deficiency could be the cause of hair loss in some women. Your doctor may test your blood iron level, particularly if you are a vegetarian, have a history of anemia, or heavy menstrual bleeding. If you do not have an iron deficiency, you will need to take a supplement and it may not stop your hair loss. However, if your iron level is normal, taking extra iron will only cause side effects such as stomach upset and constipation. Coconut oil massage. If you can heat up some coconut oil and use it to massage the scalp with your fingertips, this can be beneficial in increasing the blood flow to the hair follicles, thereby strengthening and conditioning them. Aloe vera. Aloe vera contains various enzymes that help in healthy hair growth of hair. Either you can directly apply the aloe vera juice or gel on your scalp or you can take one teaspoon of aloe vera on an empty stomach. One of the enzymes that it contains helps in repairing all the dead skin cells on the scalp. Aloe vera can also be used as a conditioner for smooth and shiny hair. Not just that, but it controls dandruff, itching, and also promotes hair growth. Better blood circulation. It is important to keep blood and oxygen flowing to all parts of the body. However, many people with bad circulation find that their scalp cells die, which means that hair will stop growing. Therefore, it is important to stimulate your blood circulation and maintain proper levels of iron in your body. Iron deficiency is called anemia, and without iron, you are unable to produce red blood cells. Along with iron, it is important to stimulate the surface of the skin itself, which draws blood to the area and stimulates hair growth and life in the follicle cells. Scalp massages are one of the best ways to create this beneficial blood flow. However, if your hair loss tends to come in clumps when it is rubbed with a brush or while shampooing your hair, you might not want to massage too often since it will only exuberate the hair loss. Hormone Replacement Therapy Estrogen and Progesterone Also known as Hormone Replacement Therapy and commonly prescribed as menopause, estrogen and progesterone pills and creams are probably the most common systematic form of treatment for androgenetic alopecia for women in menopause or whose estrogen or progesterone are lacking for other reasons. What products do you recommend for women with hair loss and why? I highly suggest Hair Restore Shampoo and Conditioner by Hair Restoration Laboratories. For the past two months, my husband and I have been using Hair Restore Shampoo and Conditioner by Hair Restoration Laboratories. And after using it for two months, both my husband and I notice a significant change. For me, I noticed that my hair is becoming thicker and the speed of regrowth definitely increased. I also noticed that my hair was much silkier and smoother. It also had a nice shine to it. Before, my hair was not growing as fast and it wasn't as thick. It was also brittle and breaking easily. I don't have any of these problems now. For my husband, he noticed hair regrowth. He's been very excited about this, and he uses both the conditioner and the shampoo on a daily basis. This video was created by thecompleteherbalguide.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment box, and I'll get back to you shortly. And please subscribe to this channel. We'll have more videos shortly about various topics, hair loss, and other great topics as well. Thank you so much for listening. And once again, don't forget to subscribe and like our video.